What's going on guys? It's your boy Mars back with another Clash Royale video. And guys, in this video, we're tackling the CRL World Finals Marathon. I'm going to be using my trademark Three Musketeer Royal Hogs Royal Recruits deck to see how many wins we can get. I got off to a decent start, as you can see, currently four and one in Heat 1. So we'll see how far we can get in Heat 1 here. And uh, yeah, let's just hop into some games right now and see if we can get some wins. Let's hop into another game and I know we're going to take the win in the next one. All right, guys, so four and two now here in heat one and you know it's clutch up time. All right, we're going to go in for a fisherman here right away on this ram rider and that is not going to get to my tower. We're going to be able to heal up the fisherman here, hopefully. And he does get one little touch there on my tower, but that was still a positive trade for me. And um, we'll just go for a bar barrel here in front of the fisherman. And yeah, he goes in for a bar barrel too. So I'm going to be a little bit aggressive here with the Dark Goblin. And we're going to go for Royal Hogs too to keep the Dark Goblin alive. Because he doesn't have bar barrel now, guys. And check that out. We're going to get so much damage. And okay, his bandit's going to go back. Let's fireball here. Can we hit the bandit and the magic archer? Beautifully done right there, guys. And now we can just use our heal spirit here to make the bandit walk. And she is not going to get on that tower. And the heal spirit will connect if he doesn't do anything. So guys, this is exactly how we needed to rebound from that last loss, and we're going to try to get the dub here and then carry that momentum into a couple more wins for this video. Another fisherman here. Um, I feel like he might zap this time. Oh, but the fisherman, that was actually bad placement on my part. He walked away, and he's going to fireball there though. Guys, he fireballed even though he knows I have royal hogs, and with his tower at 791, I'm sorry, but... You just overcommitted, dude. Even with that Mega Knight, you're going to basically lose your tower. Yeah, we take him down to 83 HP right there. And we will have to probably go in for our Royal Recruits here. So let's do that. And then get a Heal Spirit. Did I just misplay the Heal Spirit? Okay, no, we do get some nice heal there. Guys, the Magic Archer is lining up on that Royal Recruit there, though. So we got to push him off and keep our tower above 1,000. And... We cannot let this guy come back in this game. This guy played way too aggressive in the beginning, not playing well, like fundamentally. And we'll go in for a fisherman here. He probably will only get one little touch once again on the tower. And he doesn't even get that this time. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. We'll go in for three musketeers here. If he wants to fireball that, he can be my guest, guys, because we're just going to go in for royal hogs um, on the right if he chooses to do that. And guys, he's going to fireball the one, so now we can definitely go in for Royal Hogs, because all he can do is Mega Knight. We knew he was going to Mega Knight right there. We get the Heal Spirit, and guys, can we take both of this guy's towers? That will feel very good after taking that last loss. Fisherman is not going to be in time, unfortunately, to save the Dark Goblin. I think we would have easily taken both of his towers if we could have saved that. But I don't think he even has enough Elixir to fireball right now, and we'll go in for our three Musketeers here. Um, and then we'll go in for the Royal Hogs in the middle. And guys, his fireballs have been so horrible in this game. We need to take the dub here. And there we go, guys. Two towers. Can we get a quick three crown here at the end? That would feel really nice. Unfortunately, that Ram Rider is going to distract the Dark Goblin from getting the three crown. But guys, check out his King Tower. We were about to get a three crown right there and wow i can't believe they even gave him that extra tower at the end that was just disrespectful but guys that's a nice win to get to five and two and get some nice gold there let's try to get to at least seven wins in this there we have no business losing yet here against michael and we have royal hogs in our starting hand he's going to give us the good game guys clash royale is just being so toxic right now we're going to give him the mega knight emote and he's going to go for a hog so of course when we don't have fishermen in our starting hand he goes in for a hog rider, and he's going to get two free hits right there. Oh, he almost got a third, guys. I would not have been happy if he got a third hit right there. We'll go in for a bar barrel here, though. We do get a hit with our dark gob, so not the end of the world. And then we can heal spirit. And I'm actually just going to go in for royal hogs. Wow, he goes in for an executioner right as I do that. And guys, we can fireball both of these right here, though. Yeah, so that's pretty good fireball value, and then we can get a Dark Goblin in. I don't think he has basically any Elixir. Wow, what is he doing? Guys, th this guy is crazy. We cannot lose this game. We'll see what he does here for this Dark Goblin, and he's going to have to Royal Ghost once again. So, unfortunately, guys, we're going to have to just, like, heal Spirit like this, I think. Try to get our tower on that, but we can't defend that Royal Ghost with anything else because... Um, we're going to have to have our fisherman for his hog rider. And I think even if he goes in for a hog in this lane, okay, we're going to go for royal hogs right here. 
Even if he goes for a hog in this lane, we're still going to activate King Tower. Guys, what is he... Uh, I don't know if I want to fireball that. Because... Yeah, let's just go for a Fisherman. And yeah, we knew he was going to Hog Rider. So let's just Bar Barrel to block the Executioner. His Hog will get pulled eventually. And it gets that last hit, though, to take me down to 570. If we were at 800, I'd feel much better about that. And we can't quite get the Heal Spirit in front. But he's going to go for Guards after. So I think we would just want to pull these back with the Royal Hogs and try to get some more damage. He's going to have a Hunter and an Ice Spirit right there. And we do take him down to 982, but guys, this is going to have to be a two-tower game, I'm pretty sure. Let's just go in for recruits as soon as the hunter gets in range of our tower. And he's going to have an E-Giant, guys. What the heck is this dude using? He's going to give me the cry emotes. Not really sure why, uh, but we'll go in for like three musketeers right here. If this guy has a fireball at this point, I would pretty much just give up because that was that would be extremely lucky. But, ooh, I wanted to get a heal spirit in there a little bit faster. But we're going to pull that E-Giant. And guys, actually, I think going in for the E-Giant might have been his fatal mistake in this game. Look at this push we have coming in on the right. I don't know if there's any defending this. Hunter is going to get pulled. Doesn't do any damage. And guys, look at this push still coming in here. He gets very lucky there to take out the Dark Goblin uh, with that executioner but guys we're still gonna take the dub here he might try to go in for a desperation hog rider yes he does and guys even with some very very lucky interactions in my opinion for him in that game we take the dub clutch up right there this deck has a knack for clutching up i would not have been happy if we lost that game but there we go six and two let's try to get the seven and two i would be pretty happy with that after going to four and two so three straight wins right there would be nice. We got to cycle our heal spirit though, because we don't have fishermen in hand and we're not getting too lucky with our starting hands. Guys, I feel like he's going to have a lava hound. So I kind of want to go in for royal recruits here actually. And yeah, so there's the lava hound easy to predict right there. And if we have royal recruits coming in on the left um, and that tombstone is already mostly dead. I think we just want to go in for royal hogs here. He goes in for a baby dragon. He could have fireball. I'm expecting that. But actually, guys, let's fireball this flying machine because he's trying to defend. And that lava hound isn't going to do a ton of damage by itself. So there we go, guys. Easy tower. He might be able to take my tower out here, though. I'm just going to wait, actually, to see if he commits more elixir. And we're going to go for a dark goblin here, guys. But I feel like he has arrows. He actually doesn't have arrows, but he has poison. And so he is... Uh, let's maybe see if we can save this tower with Fisherman Heal Spirit, but I think it's too late. And yeah, he is going to get that tower out there. I probably shouldn't have gone Fisherman Heal Spirit right there, but I think we're still going to be okay. Guys, what is that tombstone? I think if we went in for Royal Hogs, actually they would go towards the tombstone though. But since he just poisoned... I didn't mean to play two Musketeers on the right side. That's definitely a mistake. But... I think we're still going to be okay here. He just went with a Lava Hound. And if we can get... If we can get Royal Hogs coming in here, we're going to be pretty well off. Let's go in for Recruits. Yeah, I knew he was going to try to commit some Elixir there to kill the Musketeers. And wow, the Lumberjack does target that other Musketeer. So that's unfortunate for me. But that's still going to be good defense right there for me. And that Flying Machine, guys, I don't know about that. I think we can go in for royal hogs here with this musketeer and hopefully oh, i was hoping the flying machine would leave but the musketeer is going to target it and get that most of the way down he was able to get back to a tombstone anyway so it doesn't matter too much we're going for a dark goblin here and i was ready with a fireball in case he like tried to lava hound the pocket um but guys let's get a bar barrel in front of the dark goblin here and a heal spirit and we pretty much just have to cycle another set of royal hogs if we want any chance of winning this Let's fireball the King Tower and his flying machine there and then get our Dark Goblin down for that Lava Hound. And then we can go in for a, a Royal Recruits here. We are we are able to protect the Dark Goblin at least momentarily, so that's pretty big. We get that Lava Hound down. Guys, he's spamming the pocket right now. Can we fireball all that? There we go. We need these baby dragons to die though. That's too much damage. And wow, this is going to be a close game here to end off the video. Can we go in for a Dark Goblin here to hopefully get rid of the Tombstone, at least mostly? 
and then we'll go in for recruits and he does go in for a lava hound in the pocket guys i think he's gonna commit more elixir so let's go for royal hogs and then if we can get to um a fisherman here we'll, we'll just block this with a fisherman and go in for a heal spirit and then oh guys that might have been a bad fireball oh okay luckily we do hit that flying machine though so not the end of the world i can't go in for um royal recruits though or i can't go in for three musketeers because of the poison but there he goes with the poison and guys this is going to be an l very unfortunate uh, so I guess the CRL World Finals Marathon was not really for this deck, guys. We faced a very tough matchup there. Lava Hound Poison when I have three Musketeers. So not really sure what we're supposed to do there. He was able to get back to Tombstones to block the Royal Hogs. So guys, that's just very unfortunate. But guys, we can't beat ourselves up too much over that. Let's just hop into a game in a classic challenge here against Inferno Dragon and see if we can take a dub here to end off the video. We're going for a bar barrel on this and guys he's gonna have elite barbarians come in and wow i literally have no answer for that in hand as you saw i didn't have my royal recruits in hand and he takes my tower to start the game so guys i don't know if this is just the most unlucky day in clash royale history or what but some of these matchups we've been getting are just kind of absurd to be honest you guys saw that first matchup that i got and guys, this guy is literally spamming the bridge with minion hordes and e-barbs. And it, I don't know what's happening, guys. Like, do I even know how to play this game anymore? I'm starting to question. He's obviously going to go for e-barbs in front of that. Okay, never mind. He doesn't. So I guess we'll just leave those. And oh my gosh, guys. Guys, we're going to try to come back in this game, but if I lose this game, I might just have to quit Clash Royale forever. All right, well, we get a lot of damage there, down to 1371, and there are... Guys, I did not mean to place those Royal Hogs right there. He goes E-Barb's Poison for the 3 Crown. Guys, this is what we're losing to right now. All right, well, clearly he overcommitted and didn't have enough elixir because we're going to take him down to 132 right there. So, guys, I think we're going to be able to win this game. Um, call me crazy, but I think we're going to be able to come back here. Uh, let's pull this Valkyrie back, hopefully, with the heal spirit. Have him get a little bit less damage. But let's just go in for Royal Hogs again and take his tower here on the right. Unless he, like, has Mega Knight or something. Okay, yeah, if he had Mega Knight right there, I would have been really sad. But guys, we need a 3 crown here to end off the video. I need some positive vibes from Clash Royale to end off this video. <clears throat> some of the matchups we got today were, like, literally impossible. And some people won because of some very lucky uh, card cycles on us. But we'll go in for a Dark Goblin here. And guys, look at the push that's starting to build up on the right. He goes in for a Valkyrie, but that's going to get absolutely shredded. And then we can go in for Royal Hogs. The Heal Spirit right there. And guys, I think finally we're, we're seeing what we want to see out of Clash Royale right now. That push on the right is absolutely devastating him. A Poison's not going to save him. And there we go, guys, with a nice easy 3 crown to end off the video. But anyways, guys, that's going to end off today's video. Definitely didn't get the performance that we were looking for in the CRL World Finals Marathon. But that's okay, guys. We're using a 3 Musketeer deck. And when you face Balloon Freeze and Lava Hound Poison, you're pretty much going to lose if they know what they're doing. So Clash Royale just didn't want to see us win today, but that's all right. We still got a couple wins in today's video, and yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys made it this far in the video, definitely click the like button and the subscribe button right now. Doing those little things takes like one or two seconds, but it benefits my channel tremendously, and I really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you guys in a couple days with another Clash Royale video.